everyone, today I just wanted to share with you a tiny little J-pop haul that I received recently and I want to share it now because I don't think I'll be able to buy any more J-pop for a while so I didn't want to wait like months and months till I have other things and I'm gonna try and actually hold off on buying anything till I go to Japan in the spring. So I ordered these things off of Amazon Japan and I received a few questions about that recently so I'll talk about that at the end of the video but uh, the first thing I got was Kodokumi's it's reflecting. Kodokumi's Winter of Love Best of Collection and this is the Blu-ray edition of course. So this is kind of like the companion release to Summer of Love where it is Kodokumi's Winter Ballads paired with the music videos. I am really excited to have the Blu-ray version of all the videos like I was for Summer of Love and I actually am really liking the track list that was included on this. This collection included two new songs which I also really liked so so far I am liking this a bit more than Summer of Love overall. Uh, so this is the album art. I'm gonna do a review on this, so I'll just show you guys really briefly, but that's the inside. And there's the Blu-ray disc. The only thing about this is that since I only ordered a couple of things, they came in uh, soft envelopes. So this actually came cracked. There's a small little crack on the front. So that's not that big of a deal, but I wasn't that happy about it. And the second thing I got was the new album by Crystal K called Shine. And this is also the Blu-ray edition. So this album includes 13 new tracks as well as music videos for three of them and some live performances on the Blu-ray disc. I really like this album art. I think Crystal looks super pretty. I really love her hair style lately. So this is the interior and that's the album and that is the Blu-ray disc. Some of you might be wondering why I purchased the Revolution single and then purchased this album. Well, I just wanted to support Crystal and honestly, I wasn't even thinking that Revolution would also be included on this album, but it doesn't really matter. So if you would like me to review this album, let me know in the comments down below. So that's actually it for the J-pop haul. I only ordered two things. They ended up being very expensive because the Canadian dollar is doing so badly. They both cost just over $100 after shipping and taxes and everything. So yeah, that's another reason why I'm not going to be buying any more J-pop unless the uh, Utani Karo album suddenly comes out then I'll be buying that of course right away. So yeah going back to the Amazon Japan issue so I have talked about it a while ago on my channel I think it was like a year ago. So Amazon Japan will actually ship music things like CDs and live DVDs and Blu-rays overseas. I'm pretty sure they won't ship kind of like more Japan exclusive items like stuff from the Pokemon Center. They don't ship overseas. You can change the page to English, there's a link near the top of the page and once you put the items you want in your cart you go to the order page and then you scroll down to where you put in your address there will only be fields for a japanese address however there is a small link or there should be for entering an international address so you click on that then you should be able to enter in your normal address and use your credit card from your home country to order it for me i'm pretty sure i used my regular amazon account to sign into the japanese one so maybe it only works if you do that if you make a new account it might not work I'm not sure so if you guys have any questions I'll try and answer them to the best of my knowledge and so that was it for this little haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and again let me know if you would like either of those albums reviewed on my channel in the comments down below and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video bye this year I decided to order from Rinkia and I've never used that service before if anyone didn't know Rinkia is a third-party service that allows foreigners to order from Yahoo Japan auctions. So you can find a lot of different stuff on there obviously and there's quite a bit of J-pop stuff and collector's items. So I wanted to